Have you ever had your wrists slapped for committing passwords into version control? Well, I know I have, and it's not pleasant because your colleague, normally somebody that has the word security in their job title, they start steaming and they need, well, they need half an hour of listening to elevator music just to calm down. Anyway, they do have a good point, and it's true that committing into version control your passwords is a pretty bad idea, and there's several good reasons for this. And I think the main one is that if your repository is compromised, then anyone can get access to all your passwords. And also it means it's very difficult to remove it at any point because, well, it's version controlled. But don't worry because in Gradle, we've got several ways we can pass our passwords into our build script from the outside. And in the Flowery technical lingo, this is called external credentials. And here we've got a Gradle build script for a simple Java project. And doesn't it look so nice when it's so simple like this? Anyway, a common use case for using credentials is pulling dependencies from a remote Maven repository. And right here, this project has got two dependencies, and I want to pull them from my own private repository. So not Maven Central or anything like that. My own private repository with its own username and password. And normally to set this up, we just define our repository's configuration here and we're going to say it's a maven repository and it's got this url and if i was to run dot slash gradle w space build and i'm going to run it with refresh dependencies so that it doesn't use the cached local versions then we get an error because it's saying status code 401 unauthorized and i'm going to show you three ways you can pass in the credentials here and the first one i think is the best one and it involves setting a repository name so i'm just going to call this repository tom's repo and then we just call the credentials function here and we pass it password credentials and automatically grader will take the repository name tom's repo and look for properties, Tom's repo, username and password. So if we run the same command again, we straight away get an error. It's missing these two Gradle properties. And of course, there are several ways we can pass in Gradle properties, one of which is to pass the dash P, Tom's repo username equals AWS, dash P, Tom's repo password equals, and I'm just going to refer to an environment variable here, firstly, because this password is extremely long and secondly because frankly I don't want you to see it so let's run this again and that's successfully authenticated with that remote repository and of course the other way you can pass Gradle properties is in the gradle.properties file in your user home directory slash dot gradle and I've set the tom repo username and password in here which means that I no longer need to pass the properties through on the command line and I get the same result. And I'm just going to comment these properties out for the rest of the video. And I want to show you another approach where you use the credentials function, but this time pass a closure, and we're going to specify the username as AWS, and the password refers to an environment variable, Tom's repo password. And this also means that I can just run build, and it's going to derive the credentials from the environment, and I don't need to pass in any properties. And a third approach which we could use is to use our own custom Gradle property. And I could say property, let's say Tom's PW. We're expecting a Gradle property called Tom's PW. So if I run this, it's going to fail because it hasn't got that property. So I pass Tom's PW and then I pass it the password. Now another use case where we often need to use a username and password is where we push an artifact to a remote repository. And if you've got the Maven Publish plugin applied, that's just a case of adding a configuration block like this. Down below, we're specifying the repositories. So just the same as we had before, it's a Maven repository. I've given it a name, it's got a URL, and it's got the password credentials mechanism where we're gonna pass in the Gradle properties on the command line. So it's going to look like this. And before I run this command, I'm going to set the credentials back to password credentials for the repository's definition up here. And now I can run publish, and that's published to a remote repository. 
Now, one other use case that you might have is authenticating using some kind of custom script or tool. And in this project, I've got a login.sh script, which expects the username and password passed into standard input. And the way we can interact with this is I could define a task. It's called login, and it's got this syntax providers.credentials, password credentials. So that's what we used before. And it's passed in this string login which means that Gradle is going to be looking for a login username and login password. And these details get used in this exec type task. It's executing a command line, sh login.sh, and on the standard input, it's passing in the username and password. So if I run login without anything specified, it says it's missing the login username and login password. And if I just specify those using dash p to pass in Gradle properties, then that's worked successfully. Now, if you've been watching this video and feeling more and more anxious as time goes on because you've actually got some passwords committed into your own projects, then don't worry. What I want you to do is just go and grab those username and passwords, and paste them into the comments down below. Now, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. That's not secure. I want you to copy those, pop them in an email and send them to me directly. Now, I'm only kidding. I want you to destroy those username and passwords or at least use one of the techniques discussed in this video to externalize those credentials. And if you're interested in more Gradle best practice tips and tricks, then why not hit that special button? And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.